Daniel 7:13-14. Daniel 7:13-14 has nothing to do with the future prophecy of the Messiah. How do we know that? Well, all Christians have to do is read chapter 7 from verse 1 to verse 28, and Trinitarians will realize the Son of Man is referring to the Holy Saints. Daniel 7:13-14 is about the Holy Saints, not the Messiah. And I will prove this in a minute, like I said comprehending scriptures is the key. Trinitarian Jesus worshippers hold to the belief that Daniel 7:13-14 proves the deity of Jesus, and that he should be worshipped. According to Trinitarians the Aramaic word, Pelik, is used in the passage, then that proves the deity of the Messiah. They say, the word Pelik, is used for God alone and it has never been used for humans besides Jesus. As we will examine the verse, you will know the word Pelik, is used for others beside God, saints, ministers etc. New International Version, Copyright 2011, Daniel 13, In my vision at night I looked, and there before me was one like a son of man, coming with the clouds of heaven. He approached the Ancient of Days and was led into his presence. 14 He was given authority, glory and sovereign power, all nations and peoples of every language worshipped Pelik or Pelik, him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away, and his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. The above translation is false. Why do Trinitarians deliberately twist, translate, Pelic, for a human being as worshipped? That is just distorting the text. Majority of translations translate Pelic, as, serve. A better translation would be. English Standard Version, Copyright 2001, Daniel 7:14. And to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom, that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him, his dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom one that shall not be de. Destroyed. Does, obeying, Jesus make him God. Majority of Bible translations, even the famous KJV renders the word, serve, for Daniel 7:14. Since when did, serving, someone, make the person God? Here is a typical missionary response, they will say something along the lines, hold on a minute the war. The Pelic, is only used for God alone. Daniel 7.14 reads as follows. American King James Version Daniel 7.14 And there was given him dominion, and glory, and a kingdom, that all people, nations, and languages, should serve him, his dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Hebrew lexicons on the word Pelic. 1. Hebrew English lexicon. Pelic, ch, served, worshipped. 1. 2. Brown Francis. B.B. Cleve R. Cleve. Aram. Pelic, U.S.U., until work, serve. Notice how Brown Francis has translated the word Pelic, as, till work, serve. He does not mention nothing about worship. It seems clear here that the one to whom was given dominion and glory and kingdom and his kingdoms one that shall not be destroyed, 714 RSV, is a human being namely, the saints of the Most High, BV.18 27. That identification emerges in the exposition of the dream that Daniel receives from one of the heavenly court. The interpreter assures this community through the writer of the book of Daniel that in a very short time a time, two times, and half a time, v. 25 The dominion would be taken from the hands of the tyrant and given to the saints to rule forever and ever. In short these people are the wave of the future and the future is at hand. 4. Whatever difficulties exist with the redactional stages of this chapter in the book of Daniel and however complicated the problem of the intended meaning alike a son of man v 13 could be one finding certain. The interpretation of the vision, DN 7 18 speaks about a final and everlasting kingdom. M which will be given to the saints of the Most High. In V. 21.22 the same group is called the saints, in V.28 the people of the saints of the Most High. They all receive and retain forever the kingly power, v. 18.20, judgment, v. 22, and sovereignty, the greatness of all kingdoms under heaven shall be given to them, and all sovereignties shall serve and obey them, v. 27. 5. 13. Like unto a son of man, the AV was wrong in translating, like unto son of man, and thus suggesting that the passage referred to the son of man of the Gospels. The phrase simply denotes a figure in human form. There is no reference to the Messiah. 
in the interpretation of the vision in 18. This phrase has no place at all. The kingdom that is here given unto, one like unto a son of man, is in 18 given to, the saints of the Most High. 6. The, holy saints receive Pelic. Daniel 7.27 is very clear that the saints receive, Pelic, but the new translations of the Bible, have twisted the passage and made it out that Jesus is the one who is receiving this, service, not the saints. Let's now expose the deceit how they twist Daniel 7.27. New International Version, Copyright 2011, then the sovereignty, power and greatness of all the kingdoms under heaven will be handed over to the holy people of the Most High. His kingdom will be an everlasting kingdom, and all rulers will worship and obey him. New Living Translation, Copyright 2007, then the sovereignty, power, and greatness of all the kingdoms under heaven will be given to the holy people of the Most High. His kingdom will last forever, and all rulers will serve and obey him. We see from the above passages that the kingdom under heaven will be handed over to the holy people, i.e. the saints. At the end of the verse, desperate Trinitarian scholars have added the word, him, to make it out to P-E-O-P-L. Either the person that the passage is referring to is the Messiah, and thus he should receive worship. Now here is the problem, if we take a closer look in the Aramaic text, the word, him, is not even there, it is not part of the text. Daniel 7 verse 27 ends with the words, and all rulers will serve and obey, and stop. So if we just take a look at the passage without the word, him added by Trinitarians, it is crystal clear that the ones who will receive Pelic, just like Daniel 7 14 are the, saints. Here is a screenshot, word for word from a Christian website for Daniel 7 27 and see if the word, him, is in the passage. 7. If you read all the way to the end, of verse 27, you will realize in the original Aramaic text, the word, him, is not there. Holy Saints receive Balak. This is next section I will show a list of different Bible translations that agree that Daniel 7:27, the, Holy Saints, are the ones who will receive Pelic. Look out for the word, them, at the end of each different Bible translation. 1. Concordant version of the Old Testament Daniel 7:27 and the kingdom and the jurisdiction and the majesty of the kingdom under the entire heavens will be granted to the people of the saints of the supremacies. The kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all other authorities shall serve and hearken to them. 2. New century version Daniel 7:27. Then the holy people who belong to the Most High God will have the power to rule. They will rule over all the kingdoms under heaven with power and greatness, and the power to rule will last forever. People from all the other kingdoms will respect and serve them. 3. The message Daniel 7:27. Then the royal rule and the authority and the glory of all the kingdoms under heaven W. will be handed over to the people of the high God. The royal rule will last forever. All other rulers will serve and obey them. 4. English Revised Version Daniel 7:27. Then God's special people will rule the kingdom. And they will rule over all the people from all the kingdoms of earth. This kingdom will last forever. And people from all the other kingdoms will respect and serve them. 5. God's Word Translation Daniel 7:27. The kingdom, along with the power and greatness of all the kingdoms under heaven, will be given to the holy people of the Most High. The kingdom is eternal. All other powers will serve and obey them. 6. Complete Jewish Bible, CJB, Daniel 7:27. Then the kingdom, the rulership and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven will be given to the holy people of the Most High. The kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all rulers will serve and obey them. 7. English Standard Version Anglicized ESV UK, Daniel 7:27, And the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. The kingdom shall be an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey them. 8. Expanded Bible EXB, Daniel 7:27, Then the holy people, ones who belong to the Most High God, V18, will have the power to rule. They will rule over all the kingdoms under heaven with power and greatness, and the power to rule will last forever. People from all the other kingdoms will respect, fear, and serve, obey, them. 9. Good News Translation, GNT, Daniel 7:27. The power and greatness of all the kingdoms on earth will be given to the people of the Supreme God. 
the royal power will never end, and all rulers on earth will serve and obey them. 10. Names of God Bible, Nog Daniel 727 The kingdom, along with the power and greatness of all the kingdoms under heaven, will be given to the holy people of the Elionon. The kingdom is eternal. All other powers will serve and obey them. 11. New Revised Standard Version NRSV Daniel 727 The kingship and dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the holy ones of the Most High. The kingdom shall be an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey them. 12. New Revised Standard Version, Anglicized, NRSVA Daniel 727 The kingship and dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the holy ones of the Most High. GH, the kingdom shall be an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey them. 13. New Revised Standard Version, Anglicized Catholic Edition, NRSVACE, Daniel 727 The kingship and dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the Holy Ones of the Most High, the kingdom shall be an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey them. 14. Revised Standard Version RSV Daniel 727 And the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saint. S of the Most High, the kingdom shall be an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey them. 15. Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition RSVCE Daniel 727 And the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, the kingdom shall be an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey. We see from the above Bible translations, clear evidence that the holy saints are the ones who also receive Pelic. Question for Trinitarians, if the person in Daniel 7.14 receives Pelic, and thus makes him God, what about the saints that receive the same thing in verse 27, are they all gods? Obviously it is clear now that the Hebrew Pelic, as claimed by Trinitarians being only used for God alone is false. Note INF. B.27 The people of the saints are the object of this service. Holy saints will be given authority and rule forever. The hard-headed missionaries will say, what about verse 14? He was given authority, glory and sovereign power, his rule is eternal, it will never end. His kingdom will never be destroyed. That still does not make the person God. If we use the same Christian logic, what about the saints who will be given authority to reign forever just like verse 14? How can the person that is given authority be God? If the person is given that authority and given the kingdom, that means the person at the first place never owned it and the person is subservient and under God's authority. Read the following passages. Daniel 7:18. But the saints of the Most High will receive the kingdom and will possess it forever yes, forever and ever. Daniel 7:22. Until the Ancient of Days came and pronounced judgment in favor of the saints of the Most High, and the time came when they possess said the kingdom. Daniel 7.27 And the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, the kingdom shall be an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey them. Single quote quote. The evidences presented is quite overwhelming, thoroughly refutes the idea Trinitarians hold on to that the passage somehow approves, sanctions worshipping of the Messiah. A Daniel 7:13-14 does not prove Jesus' deity. B. The passage does not refer to the Messiah, Jesus, but the saints, this is according to the three Christian scholars quoted. C. The Aramaic word Pelic, serve, is not exclusively for God alone, but used for the holy saints as well. Here we see the King James Version with the strong concordance numbers you will notice that there is no strong concordance number for the word him, that mean they added it into the scriptures but, they changed it from plural to singular the son of man is the whole house of Israel. Exodus 4 22. 22 and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And remember the Bible was written in a poetic style.